What's going on, y'all? Mitchell Renz, Harrison Graham. You are watching an NFL Daily Mailbag. How do you get on the show? You got to join us live. We go live Mondays and Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. Mark Kearns, now that we know the Jags have the top pick, what do the Jets do with the number two pick? Oh, man, only the Jets could screw this up, Mitch. I still think it's you take a quarterback, whether it's Wilson oh. or Fields, but I got to say, Lawrence, the gap between Lawrence and the next guys, I think it's bigger than we anticipated yeah. because Fields has not been as good this year. I think it's still draft a quarterback, but maybe you start a bidding war and I'll you get a bunch of picks for him. I was just going to say, if I'm the Jets, I try to trade down. Obviously, it's a lot easier said than done, but there's a lot more issues than just adding a quarterback. True. So I would say trade down if you can. Trill, what should the Panthers do at quarterback? So this is a really interesting one because they signed Teddy Bridgewater with a three-year contract, $63 million. Bridgewater's a good quarterback. Yeah. But if you can – He's not a, a long-term answer. But if you can get a quarterback in maybe the top five, do you consider it? My only problem is you kind of just mentioned it. I would rather have Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater than any other quarterback coming out of the draft. But I think they're in a different situation, whereas – they're probably not a playoff team next year either, whereas compare them to the Bears, for example. The Bears have playoff pieces in pace. They might they might make the playoffs this year. But Carolina's in a good spot where Teddy can be your guy next year, but you can still – what if you draft, like, Trey Lance, number eight overall or something like that, and you say, hey, you're not playing next year. We're going to treat you like Mahomes. You're going to be the backup. You're going to learn under a Teddy Bridgewater. Like and then in 2022, you're the guy. I, I, don't, I think it could be an option. I think, I think Bridgewater probably starts next year, but I still think drafting a quarterback makes sense. Gary Sanderson, Rob Salah as Chargers head coach. I definitely think that Anthony Lynn is going to get the boot. I like Robert Salah a lot. I, I personally, he deserves to be a head coach. Personally, I think there's a better chance of him going to the Lions than the Chargers. Now, I might take the Chargers job over the Lions oh, I'm job. Oh, dude, I'm definitely taking the Chargers job. But uh, it job. sounds like the Lions are really, really going to push for Robert Salah. And if they do go out and hire him, guess what? We're going to be making a video on it. So yep. if you guys are always looking for the latest NFL news, latest rumors, if you want some hot seats where we're going to break down a lot of coaches that are going to get fired next week, and then we're going to tell you who's going to be most likely the head coach of those teams. If you want mock drafts more, there is no other channel on YouTube that will keep you updated like we do. By the way, would you rather have the Texans job or the Chargers? Texans. I, drive I, might, I might go Chargers. If, uh, if, uh, if Anthony Lynn gets fired, we will make a replacements video. Subscribe. That's one of many reasons to do so. All right, we got JC. Who do you think – or, yeah, who do you think J.J. Watt will go to? I still think he's in Houston next year. Now, he, uh, he has no dead money next year, so they can cut him. They can try to trade him, whatever they want to do, Mitch. But he's just – He's, he is the Texans. That's what I mean. He's, he's the most meaningful player in franchise history outside of maybe Andre Johnson, and it's still probably Watt. Yeah, see, I'm going to go with J.J. for not only what he's done with the team, but for what he's done for the city of Houston. Community. It's just like, it's incredible. Hurricane and Harvey, what he did. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, the amount of money that this guy has raised, and he means so much to this city, to this franchise, where I get you can move on from him, and maybe you want to have a debate. Do you want to pay him $17.5 million? But I'm also a believer that J.J. Watt is the type of player where if they tell him, hey, we're trying to win, can you take a little bit of a pay cut probably and help will. us out? He probably would. And he has been one of the best players, probably one of the best defensive tackles that I've ever seen in my entire life. There's no doubt about that for what he's been able to bring. And he's still playing at a very high level. But I also know this, J.J. Watt wants to win. Yep. And if you haven't seen his <laughs> post-game interview of him just calling out guys, seriously, y'all, you need to go check it out because that's a player that I want to have on my team. A guy Absolutely. who's not afraid to voice his opinion and call guys out. He just flat out said, in 2020, we're making a lot of money and the world's been crazy. And we a get lot to of play people a are game. unemployed. Yeah. Go out and do your job. And that's the type of guy that I want to end up like on my team. There's absolutely no doubt about that. So even though J.J. Watt's not a free agent, you're going to see a lot of trade rumors. You're going to see a lot of rumors around him. And rightfully so because I don't know. If he should actually stay with it, he Texas brings a lot to the table, not just on the field, but just from a leadership standpoint and in the community as well. Where's he going to play in 2021, Mitch? Type T for Texans or O for other. I still think it's the Houston Texans. You still think it's going to be the Houston Texans? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Worst case, you just don't re sign him after next year. Yeah, that's true. T for Texans, O for other. Super chat coming in from Swampasaurus318. Is Lamar Jackson overrated? Burrow had more passing yards than him, and he hasn't played in five games. I don't think he's overrated. He's definitely taken a step back this year. Um, also, Jackson missed 
one or two games with COVID, whatever that was. Yeah. I think he missed at least one game. Look, we know he's not a pocket guy. <laughs> he's a unique quarterback. He's never going to be a guy that throws for 4,500 yards. It's not his game. So, depends on what you want. You want a pocket quarterback? I will quarterback? say this, though. I do think he's a little bit overrated. Okay. I do think he's just a little bit overrated. But that's because he won the MVP last year. Yeah. So, uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, uh, oh, boy. I'm sorry. Free agent targets for my <laughs> Cowboys. Abinov, let us know. Um, Man. You got to decide what you're doing at quarterback. Dak, I mean, and it's such a dumb Dak's answer, and I'm sorry, but until you figure out what you're doing with Dak, Dak and secondary. nothing else matters. Secondary. That's true. You need a safety, maybe some cornerbacks as well. Yep. So, I mean, some safeties out there. Justin Simmons would be a great fit. I mean, a guy like Anthony Harris would be phenomenal. Some of the other cornerbacks out there, William Jackson. Maybe you try to get a guy like Patrick Peterson. I <sighs> maybe, mean, yeah. Richard Sherman. Safety, so. corner, quarterback. There you go. Jacob, what up, dude? Should the Raiders draft picks be defense, defense, and defense? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, there's nothing else that the Raiders should end up doing. So defense, defense, no doubt about that. Some that you guys need to be going out and getting some awesome NFL jerseys because we got some killer deals going on right now. Chatsports.com slash jersey deal where you can get hundreds of jerseys for under $80. Now, Harrison, I love how before the shows you're always looking for those best deals. Yep. You found some pretty killer deals on some of these jerseys that were off. Yeah, they're all under 80 bucks. Some of them as low as 50. I know this Baker one uh, is 49.99. So if you're watching live, take advantage at chatsports.com slash jersey deal. These prices, they can change all the time. So you want to get in while you can. But all these are on sale. Plus, if you're weird like me sometimes, and you want to be wearing a random jersey, you can get, like, for example, a Geno Smith Jets jersey for, like, eight bucks. I don't know who wants one of those, but if you, you know, it's been a tough year in 2020. <laughs> if you want an NFL jersey for cheap, there you go, jazzsports.com slash jersey deal. You can filter it, by the way, by price yes. once you get in there as well. That's the easiest way to find the cheaper ones. Jazzsports.com slash jersey deal. Check the comments. Check the description. Tons of them are available for you. Bob the Pickle, if the Pats <laughs> sign Haskins, Bill can make him a stud. I don't know about that. I think we, we said like, the same about Cam Newton. He stunk. I love Belichick. I think McDaniels is a good offensive mind, but you got to have talent around your quarterback. And you can't just snap a finger and it works. Like, I know the Patriots, like, I trust their coaching staff and Belichick's a wizard and all that stuff. But, I mean, they're 6-9 and nine this year. Or they're about to be. Or, yeah, they're 6-9 and nine this year. Like, I don't think it's that simple. I, I think that's been proven this year. Cam Newton's a former MVP, and he's thrown five touchdowns this season. Not that impressive. Not Urban Meyer. Okay. Ooh. Is Urban Meyer going to be head coach? Is this Zach is Smith? This, <laughs> <laughs> um, is Urban Meyer going to be a head coach? So these news, these news rumors, all this stuff, uh, it's been popping up crazy because of the report that NFL teams are expressing interest in Urban Meyer. And I get that he could take a jump. But with all his heart conditions before, with everything that went on, I would be surprised. But here are some teams that are reportedly interested in Urban Meyer. The Detroit Lions, the Atlanta Falcons, and the Jacksonville Jaguars. You know who's interested? Whichever team names Urban Meyer writes on his piece of paper and exactly. hands to his agent. That's who's interested. Urban Meyer loves being in the headlines. He loves having teams interested in him. Sure, teams have some interest. The University of Texas called, and he was he he loved the he loved the entertainment. That's Absolutely. why that's why he let it drag out for a week or two. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I just don't see it, man. Like he turned down the Browns job last year. They won't, they were interested. Yeah. He, that was close to Ohio State. Like he would not have had to move that far, and he said no. So. I don't think it's that likely. Maybe he has interest in Jacksonville to coach Trevor Lawrence down in, you know, nice, sunny Jacksonville, but I, I'll put it at 10%. I, I don't think it's very likely he returns next season. So out of the three teams that are reportedly interested in Urban Meyer, which is the best head coaching job? Lions, Jags, or the Atlanta Falcons? If you think it's the Detroit Lions type DET, I think it's the Jacksonville Jaguars, JAC, Atlanta Falcons, ATL, out of the three teams on screen, which is the best head coaching job to you? I think the most intriguing is the Jazz. Yes, you said it. I don't know it. if it's I'm the best, you. but I, I want to take my chances on Trevor Lawrence. Trevor so. Lawrence, and you have just a ton of draft picks. You have a stud year. running back. There's some pieces on that defense still. Like. I mean, everyone right now in the comments is typing JAC. And for the guy typing the Lions, I'm sorry. I would take the Falcons over the Lions job. That's I agree. Though. I agree. Right, we got three MMZY free agent and draft targets for the Baltimore Ravens. This I, is still think receiver. I still think they need, need a receiver. I still think they need help. a top receiver. 
I would say number one on my board is probably a guy like Allen Robinson because if you he could, can block, if you, he can do it all. If you could bring in Robinson as that physical possession guy and Marquise Brown becomes your speedster type, your deep threat only, because I think they're expecting him to be a number one. Probably not a number one. Probably more of a number two. That would be a great fit to get Allen Robinson in there. Uh, I think you need one or two weapons on the outside. And then what do you do with Yannick Ngakwe? Do you bring him back? Sure. I think that's a big question as well. 